So who are you and what do you do? My name's Heather Buckby and I'm a writer, particularly screenwriting. Um, what kind of screenplays do you enjoy writing? Um, I do, I enjoy writing them for different reasons. I enjoy uh, short film writing because it teaches you to condense narrative, dialogue and character and structure. Um, but writing TV series or feature length, it just gives you a bit more to play around with without condensing it and um, yeah, yeah, they're enjoyable for different reasons. So I'd probably say short film for now. Uh, so what kind of things do you take inspiration from? Like do you do you read a lot? Do you watch a lot for TV? Yeah, um, I'd probably say initially I started taking more inspiration from uh, books because I didn't really uh, watch TV as much. Um, and then as I started to learn more, I've, I'm, it's, I find it like now I want to do sort of screenplays more than just general sort of prose writing. Mm -hmm. um, watching a lot of TV and films and watching a variety of genres and, and stories and stuff like that. So I've got yeah. inspiration and stuff like that. So what kind of books did you read and what kind of shows did you watch? Uh, books with my, probably some of my favourite, American Psycho by Frank mm -hmm. Ellis, uh, Fight Club, uh, The Lost Factory, um, so quite dark cycle yeah. thrillers really originally, which set up what I like for TV. Uh, TV, uh, God, so, so much reason. Uh, you on like that, like that, so yeah. stuff like that. Uh, American Horror Story. Um, I've just watched it. Right, I think I've watched more with, with books. I think it's easy to stay in the genre. Where, whereas yeah. with TV, I just watch anything. Definitely seems like you've got a theme with kind of like the darker, darker like, yeah, stuff. yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so would you say that Grimsby was a good platform to begin your kind of uh, journey? Yeah, I think personally for me it was uh, the course that I did gave me a lot of different leeways. It wasn't just, it wasn't specialising in one particular part of writing, it was doing writing like prose um, and doing like um, uh, film studies as well, doing screenplays, um, you know, like comic book writing, just a variety of things really. So it, it helped you decide which route you wanted to take. And so it gave you the platform and the basis of the platform for that and you, you learned what you needed to learn uh, to then to, to do what you wanted to do after. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of projects have you worked on before? Uh, short film, mainly. Yeah. Um, we've done about three or four. We've all been psychological thrillers apart from the original ones I've done. Uh, yeah. I've done Eternity, um, I've done Plato's Cave, I've done uh, Through the Window, I've done Smile, I've done quite a, quite a, an eight ball as well, I've done quite a few. Yeah, probably. so are these all as as the writer or do you? Um, only, only three of them are as a writer, The Chore I was the writer for, Yeah. Um, Through the Window I was the writer for, and Eternity as well. Yeah. Um, and the others I did producing work and just little bits and bobs. So where are you kind of hoping to end up, you know, like, you know, uh, continuing down the kind of uh, path, like after you finish your, you're doing a master's at the minute? Yeah, writing uh, performance application. Yeah, so after, after you've kind of done that, where do you kind of want to end up? Um, my main aim is to end up with uh, TV, I don't want to write for TV, so I'm trying to find a few routes of, because there's so many different ways you can try and get there, mm -hmm. um, so I'm trying to do it with a variety of ways of getting myself in there at the yeah. moment, so that's what, I'm, that's what I'm aiming for as TV, that's cool. what I want to do. So do you kind of have any advice for younger mm -hmm. writers that might not know what to do exactly? Um, I think trying to use what you can locally to start off with is it's probably the best, especially if you don't have budgets for, you know, just go any further than that. Yeah. I think working with people that are local and sort of building yourself a portfolio, um, going on to things like the BBC Writers Room and stuff like that, yeah. sort of online facilities um, where you can enter competitions and that's building the CV talk, and looking for opportunities and going for them. Like, uh, there's a lot of TV companies, big TV companies and small independent ones that will take on people that haven't had like a degree or studied at a college and started, they'll do apprenticeships and work experience and I think yeah. just take advantage of what you can that's around you. Yeah, definitely. So is there anything that you'd kind of want to plug? Um, the only thing I've got at the moment, because a lot of projects I'm doing are still being mm -hmm. created, um, yeah. is that there's a uh, Rift Theatre Festival 
at the Bannum Theatre in uh, Leeds PCI at the University um, is a collection of uh, sort of like new writers projects of a variety of uh, short theatre plays over two nights, the 7th and the 8th of May and if you go on to, um, well, the, if you just type in Rift Festival on Facebook or Instagram or uh, Twitter then there'll be links to the tickets and stuff on there. It should Brilliant. be a good night. Cool. Thank you.